but we're expecting another active weather day this afternoon as more rain is expected right here locally. Right now, as of today, we're just shy of seven inches ahead of the pace that we normally would see when it comes to yearly rainfall. So we've seen plenty of rain. We're expecting more. And in fact, some people could get a lot more. In fact, we're looking at maybe upwards of two to two and a half inches of rain in very isolated spots being possible over the afternoon and the evening hours. It's 80 degrees now. We are seeing some clouds out there as well, and we do have a flash flood watch. You can see it there all the way up until 10 o'clock this evening. Basically take Westmoreland, Allegheny County, move to the south. That's the communities that are going to be under this watch until 10 o'clock today. We already have some rain around a lot of lightning about to impact the Bedford area. If you're in Bedford at this point, if you're outside, hopefully you can get out, uh, get indoors, maybe take your lunch break now, take another hour, maybe a little bit longer than that as those storms are looking to move its way through. The concern at this point, you're seeing also some development on the western edge of all of this, so more rain could be impacting the Bedford area, mainly just off to the north of Bedford, and this is along the turnpike, some heavy rain there, not good to move out there at this time. Also, we have some rain developing off to the uh, north. We'll show you that in just a little bit. You can see the Bedford area here, some big Big totals coming in. In fact, we have some concerns that we could be potentially looking at some minor flooding already occurring around the Bedford area. This extends just north of Somerset as well to around the Unity area where they're seeing plenty of lightning. Also, you can see Kern City right there. There's the scrub grass area and Oil City. All of this is continuing to move off to the east as well. So the Rymersburg area is going to be in the path of that uh, cell that is bringing with it some heavy rain also. And this is going to be just south of I-80 that we're we're looking at for that and it does cross over I 80 as well. Temperatures this hour already at 80 degrees. That's about where we thought our high would be today and we are going to be looking as the rain starts to roll in temperatures kind of starting to tick down after the rain comes through. So temperatures probably maybe 81, maybe even 82 degrees, but then they'll start to head down as that cold front comes through. We're already seeing signs and it's moving through now. So there is a rain chance through the day. Variable winds 2 to 10. Big rain totals, lightning and dangerous wind is all the big concern that we have for today. Dry and pleasant for Thursday, so we just got to get through today. We get a nice one and more rain expected over the course of the weekend, and this time it comes from an upper low. We've talked about those before. They are very hard to tell you exactly when that rain's going to get here more than about 12 hours out, so we'll be watching that as well. Here's your forecast. Spawning isolated showers turning to scattered showers as we're heading into the afternoon hours. A couple of strong storms will be possible with big rain totals in a short amount of time, and it does look like at this point right along I-70 just south is going to be the best chance that we'll see that. We'll continue to chance for rain all the way through 9 or 10 o'clock and then we'll dry out. And I want to quickly just zoom out and just show you that big spin moving in. That's the upper low that we we're telling you about and gives you that chance for some rain. Here's your seven day outlook. We have rain today with the flash flood watch through 10 and more rain expected Friday, Saturday and Sunday. That upper low also will cool us down. We'll be looking at highs in the 70s Saturday and Sunday.